So then, Emily, when I first met you at City on a Hill Church, I was first attracted by your cute nature. So cute nature. Very cute. And then every Sunday, uh, Pastor Teddy would acknowledge and highlight your administrative service to the church <laughs> and thanks and appreciation for all that you're doing behind the scenes. And, and I thought, boy, it sure would be nice to have somebody like that in my life. <laughs> Dearest Joey, uh, we're finally here. Today is the day I get to marry my favorite person in the world. I'm so thankful to God for guiding me to you. The past three and a half years of our relationship have been some of the best times in my life because you've helped me see my worth, affirm my value, recognize my beauty, and know that I'm really loved. You're going to face many obstacles moving forward. I'm not going to sugarcoat this in any way. You're going to face many obstacles. But guess what? Every obstacle that you guys face is now an opportunity for the love of Christ to shine through. It is an opportunity. So you choose. To what? Will I serve myself? Or will I serve my spouse? And I hope you choose the latter. Because marriage is a kingdom of third culture perspective. We can only do it his way when we choose to elevate the other and not ourselves. Emily, I promise to walk with you through life, to never leave you behind, and to take you where, with me wherever God leads us. And I promise to stay beside you through the good times and the bad, to give you my unconditional love in every situation. You understand that being a disciple of Christ requires much sacrifice. You living this example has led me to experience much joy in seeking God's kingdom. Moreover, it is your loving and gentle heart that gets me. I'm thankful that you are attentive to me and my needs. You know exactly when I'm upset about something and you try your best to help make things better. to our adventures together as a new family. I promise to be with you until my last breath, to give you my life as Christ laid down his life for the church. Only then will I part from you and to meet you again uh, in the life to come before the glory of our King. Joey, you may now kiss your back.